Guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add Outlook email to your uh, to your Mac. And there are multiple ways how you can do this. Actually, there are four ways how you can achieve this. So I'm going to just get to it right now. The option number one is to use the built in a mail app. You know, like you have on your Mac, the blue uh, envelope looking icon, which is like a predisposed or built in mail application. If you don't have any email added there, what you can do is just click on the icon and it's just going to ask you to choose a mail account provider. So you're going to with Microsoft Exchange, of course, uh, then you can add your email email address and your name and pretty much go in and like go on with the uh, signing in a process and just add it there. It's going to be very simple. You perhaps may go through some different authentication and just, just like follow the instructions which are on the screen. But the first option is to use the built in a mail app. If you have an account there already, but it's something else than your Outlook, you can just go to the preferences of that app. So in case you have your mail open, go on the uh, mail at the top. And there you should be able to see uh, the accounts section. So click on accounts. And now you can actually delete or manage the existing accounts, add a new one or like remove something that you have used previously and don't use it anymore. So here you can manage the stuff which I'm talking about. The second option, which is probably more useful, is to use the dedicated Microsoft Outlook app. And you don't even go to the uh, like Microsoft page or anything. You can literally go, go and open up the App Store, which is on your Mac and look up Outlook. It's going to be the same. It's going to be the very first option. The app has like one uh, gigabyte, which it takes up like one gigabyte of storage, which is fine. But you can use it as a calendar and an email at the same time. It's very useful. Of course, you know the deal. And you can download it as well. There are some reviews. It has like four a point of three out of five ratings. So uh, chances are that it's not going to work the best. And there are some flaws in uh, the app. But yes, you can definitely try it out that way. You can of course log in with your credentials and your Outlook account. So most likely this is going to be the most stable option. However, there are different uh, ways to access it. Another one is to use pretty much just the web version of it. So go to Outlook and just look it up on Google and you can actually click on the first link and just log in. You can sign in and literally using the web version. So you can use it there as well. It doesn't matter if you use Safari or if you use uh, the Google Chrome, it's going to work very similarly. So chances are that you don't want to download any third party app and you just want to use it through the web, which also has or like makes sense if you want to do it that way. So that would be the third option. But the fourth and final option is again by downloading a third party app. But at this time, it's not going to be from Microsoft. It's not going to be the Apple uh, dedicated or stock mail application. Instead, it's going to be a third party mail client. So it doesn't matter what it is. Let's say it's going to be like you just look up the word mail and it's going to show you some different options. So you have Spark, you have Edison Mail, you have um, the Outlook, you have the Blue Mail, which I used to have, which is kind of cool. So Blue Mail, I would advise you to go ahead and take a look at this. You have Clean Email, Spike, whatever. There are plenty of uh, third party email clients, which you can go ahead and install on your Mac, whether it's MacBook or um, iMac or anything. And just use your credentials, use your email address and password to log in through that application. Of course, you give your permission to some third party providers, which should be fine because these are kind of like known apps. So you shouldn't be like too worried about it. But of course, you can use whatever option you want. But these were the four ways how you can add and use Outlook Mail on your uh, Mac computer. So hope the video helped you out. Hope at least one tip was helpful for you. For more content and for more tutorials like this, you can definitely check out the rest of the channel and even subscribe to Foxtech because I think it's very useful for you. And most tutorials are for Apple users, for iPads, Apple Watch and all the stuff. But also check out the next video right here. Thanks a lot for watching and see you guys later.